at the end of the day, a Peter Chevy is still a person, is still a human being. We got feelings. We um, are entitled to rights and privileges that any ordinary citizen of the country enjoys. Be kinder to us. Hindi kami nakakaawa. Having HIV right now, especially with antiviral violence, um, it's like more of a manageable condition. It's like diabetes. It's, it, it's like uh, hypertension where you may take maintenance medicine. Hindi kami nakakaawa. We, um, as I said, at the end of the day, we are still human beings. We are persons. I'm Jem Cabreros, uh, 54 years old. Uh, I live in Makati City. I was diagnosed uh, as HIV positive back in March 26, 2010. I got myself tested after I was uh, convinced by a friend who unfortunately has already passed away. I contracted pneumonia, so I uh, was hospitalized. And then I posted on social media, tapos, nabasa niya. Um, he was also an advocate, uh, HIV awareness advocate. So he messaged me. Um, so he told me na, Jem, uh, ang suggestion ko is, magpa-HIV test ka. Because he knows that pneumonia, and even, um, it, well, it's one of the opportunistic infections if you're HIV positive. Nung nalaman ko that I was HIV HIV positive. I kind of expected it, so wala kong violent reaction. In fact, I was kind of emotionless at that time. Siguro, uh, a bit shocked. Kasi I still held on to hope na I won't uh, not turn out reactive. My partner, by the way, is still uh, HIV negative up to now. So, bale, we are in a zero discordant uh, relationship. Siya ang unang tinawag kasi, siya ang sinabihan ng, ano, ng, ng HIV test results. So after niya, ako naman yung tinawag after several minutes, tapos yung counselor, the lady counselor told me na, uh, iho, uh, reactive ang uh, test results mo. So, yun. Um, pagkasabi niya parang, I was emotionless, and then sabi ko sa counselor na, ma'am, Pwede ko ba tawagin natin yung, ano, yung partner ko? Sabi na, sure. So, yun. Uh, sinabi sa kanya na I'm HIV positive. Ang naging impact sa akin uh, after I tested HIV positive was more of the physical. After I started the antiretroviral treatment, the side effects were I had rashes all over my body. I lost a great deal of weight. And um, not only that, I had shingles. Uh, what else? Um, I uh, I have um, boils or pizza every now and then. Um, yun, it's more of a physical impact. It it um, it affected me really physically. On uh, March 27, um, since I work at night at that time, sinabi ko sa si sister ko kung anong uh, kung anong HIV. Um, you know, I, 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 uh, I had an HIV test and I came out reactive. Her exact words were after I told her that I was HIV positive was, I am heartbroken. Umiyak ako. I was at work at that time, so I went to the admin department that, that I uh, talked to her. She told me, we will get through this. Um, things will be okay. Things will be all right uh, sooner or later. Basta, we'll be together in this. You can count on us uh, since since kami nila magkapatid, so you can count on us your siblings for support. I wanted to come out at the time, pero sabi nila no, no, not not now. It, you, um, the time is not right. Pero that was back in 2010, when um, stigma and discrimination of um, HIV was more um, uh, how do you call it prevalent and more rampant. Unlike now, especially with the law, I realized that there's no shame in being, in being HIV positive. So I decided to come out. I didn't even post something dramatic or emotional. What I did was I, I posted 
a picture of my antiretrovirals and then said, yes, I'm HIV positive. Yung mga issues na hindi natututukan as far as the HIV um, uh, community is concerned is yung pagiging more sensitive ng mga healthcare workers because um, just like two days ago, someone messaged me on Twitter na yung hub niya, uh, hindi siya pinapastart ng antiretroviral treatment kasi kailangan daw niya ng treatment partner which is not a requirement or it's not a prerequisite to start an AR uh, antiretroviral treatment. Ang sabi, ang sabi din sa kanya was that he needed to disclose to his family. And it's not that easy to disclose your status to uh, your family, most especially. Although we already have the um, Philippine HIV and uh, AIDS Policy Act of 2018, or RA uh, Republic Act 11166, um, not many people um, know about it or are sorry to be blunt about it, ignorant of the law, there are still several people who, who do not know about the law, who do not know how to um, handle um, PLHIVs, um, and they still discriminate persons living with HIV in terms of work, uh, in terms of health services. And that's sad. That's, that's really sad. Para may connection yung between the law and kung ano nangyayari sa, sa society, persons living with HIV should not be afraid anymore to stand up for their rights. If they feel that they have been discriminated against or if they feel that their rights have been violated, I believe that they should already stand up and fight for their rights. Uh, yan kasi yung nakikita kong stumbling block or hindrance. Yung takot, yung takot is the fear and inaction that enable the perpetrators. So that's why ang mensahe ko sa PLHIVs is that huwag kang matakot kasi may batas tayo. Let's use the law. Let's put the law into practice. Hindi yung papel lang or it's not, it's, it's a, um, I would not really call it, let's not make it into a dead law. Although mahirap, mahirap makakita ng isang partner who will totally accept you regardless of your status, of your HIV status. It doesn't mean that just because you are a person living with HIV, you are not entitled to be loved and fall in love. Love can also be not necessarily to one person alone. You can also express your love to other members of the community by caring for them. For someone like me who's Middle Asian living with HIV, there's this fear that in spite of taking antiretrovirals, I'm still prone to ailments that usually come for people my age, like diabetes, um, hypertension. Since I've been living with, with, with HIV for 11 years now, I know how to deal with various uh, situations, um, especially mental challenges, because I tell you, it's not easy, especially for one who's newly diagnosed, to be faced with this or to have this condition and not to have a support system, not even with um, a support system in the family. It's it's very challenging. So if someone who's younger than I am would approach me for advice or help, um, because of experience of because of what life and experience has taught me, I would know how to deal with it, and I would share my experiences to them. Ang bisaya ko sa mga older generation and mga gay people, especially na kung if they are involved in risky sexual behavior, is to get tested. Oh, ganun lang. Um, because the longer that you delay testing, especially at your age now, you are, let us say, late 30s, early 40s, late late 40s, um, the chances of progression um, to age, uh, well, regardless of your age, actually, is fast if, you, if you're still undetected. I believe that early detection would result in early treatment. Kung naisip ko bang, akabot kaya ako ng mga 50s? I think I was in my early 40s when I got diagnosed. At that time, especially with the stigma and discrimination, and I still didn't know what the side effects of the ARBs would, would have on me, hindi ko naisip. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm already 54. So, uh, 
but I'm still here. So, and it only goes to prove that antiretrovirals work. We, persons living with HIV, can even live as long or even longer than people who are uh, who don't have the same uh, status as we have. My regrets, Bapo, after learning that I'm HIV positive, wala. Wala akong regrets. Kasi kung ano man ako ngayon, kung ano mga naranasan ko ngayon, tampak ko na yun eh. We all commit mistakes. Life uh, is one long learning experience. So somewhere along the road, you'd, you'd commit mistakes. It can be uh, a, a mistake of a lifetime. Or in my case, it's now a mistake that would uh, be with me forever. Whatever happened to me is part of who I am right now. Or it molded me to the person that I am now.